This card isn't only good against control decks, it's also really good against combo decks. So I'm not gonna waste any of your time by reading the effect of Cosmic Cyclone because I'm assuming that if you're watching my videos, you're smart enough to have an IQ of over 100. Fun fact, by the way, did you know that it was scientifically proven that being subscribed to my YouTube channel drastically improves one cognitive abilities? Anyways, uh, back to the main topic. I think anyone with a brain would realize how good this card is against Eldritch because obviously you can hit the Golden Land and Black Elixir spells and shops, banish them permanently so they do not get their graveyard effect to set another card, and of course it also takes care of very fun and interactive enjoyable cards such as Kill Drain, Tikaboo, Rivalry, Goes and Match, and all the fun stuff. And of course, it's a quick play unlike Lightning Storm and Harpy's Feather Duster, so if your opponent has Anti-Spell Fragrance, at least you can chain the Cosmic Cyclone, either hit the Anti-Spell or even hit another card so that your opponent can be locked under his own Anti-Spell in case you do not have to rely on spell cards to play. Now for the less obvious part, why does this card beat the meta but other cards like MST and Twin Twister kinda do not? So against the typical Phantom Knight end board, your opponent will always really have an artifact scythe face down and he's trying to destroy it with Rusty or Destiny will destroy Phoenix Enforcer. So obviously with cards like MST and Twin, you're not really doing anything and if anything, you're really facilitating your opponent's play. But with Cosmic Cyclone, the artifact scythe will be permanently banished and therefore will not never hit the graveyard in order to be revived back to use its dreaded ability. And even when going first against Phantom Knight, Cosmic Cyclone is still really good because you can banish Journey of Destiny while it is trying to search the Wandering Griffin Rider, which is the Omni Negate by the way, and also the equip spell that would bounce a card on your field. Now, surprisingly enough, even going second against Dragonling, this card can actually be pretty good. So obviously everyone except some humans on Earth that do not know how to read, which is kind of typical for Yu-Gi-Oh players, know that if your opponent has a face down Dragon Mate Tidian and you have Cosmic Cyclone, you can use it as long as your opponent doesn't have Noctovision Dragon in the graveyard, because obviously that, ha that card has a graveyard effect, really annoying, and people forget about it all the time. But even when your opponent doesn't have Tidian, Cosmic Cyclone can still be used to break your opponent's board. So let's just say that you have a big spell card that kind of forces your opponent's negate from out of Dragon Archfiend Abyss, you activate, let's say, Regeki, and your opponent goes and negate to target the Regeki, you can actually chain the Cosmic Cyclone to banish your own Regeki, and it will no longer be affected by the Hot Red, since it is kind of dodging it by getting banished and not staying on the field on the resolution, so therefore it will resolve and destroy every monster your opponent controls. If you go first against Drytron, this card is pretty good at banishing your opponent's Drytron Ritual spell, and in case he doesn't play multiple copies, then he's never going to be recycling that one of Ritual's spell, meaning that he might not be able to ritual summon for the rest of the game. And against Virtual World, it's pretty good using it either against Chuche when you're going second, or when you're going first and your opponent is targeting a spell or trap, you can actually banish that target so the Virtual Monster effect fizzles in the hand. And of course, it can stop field spells that kind of generate advantage while they are activating, such as Meltdown, Frank its Place, and even the Flunderies field spell, Mystic Mine, obviously, etc. And of course, it's pretty good against rogue decks, rogue-ish decks, I want to say, like Unchained and True Draco, because those decks actually benefit from getting their cards destroyed or sent to the graveyard. The one issue with Cosmic Cyclone is that if your deck already loses to Artifact Lancia, then you're pretty much playing another card that just plays into it, but at the same time, it is a risk to take. Personally, I think Cosmic Cyclone is good enough to the point where I would almost main deck it a 3 in every single deck except back row decks because there are better alternatives in those decks, but I really do believe that Cosmic Cyclone is probably the meta call for this format. Anyways, let me know what you guys actually think of the card in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.